Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I love watching this video, so I thought I'd create one for myself. And this is my filming day makeup look. This is the makeup look. It is just a nice gold eyeshadow kind of look. A just pinkish lip, some little highlight, blush, mascara, you know, the whole filming full face makeup. I don't wear this makeup every day, but when I'm going out and I want to look nice, or when I'm filming, I do wear this kind of makeup so if you want to see how to get this look just keep on watching okay so now on to the chit chat get ready with me very excited to do this, this is my first chit chat get ready with me I just love these kind of videos. They're so much fun to watch, so I couldn't wait to do one. So just chat through while I do my makeup for filming, because I'm filming today. If you hear any noise outside, it's because they're doing construction, and I'm hoping you can't hear it, but you might be able to hear it. So first I'm going to use primer. This is the Prime Time by Bare Minerals. This is just their original primer, and I've been trying this out for maybe like a month, and I really like it. I just do a little bit, and then I'm going to rub in between my fingers, apply it to my face and I do apply to my whole face pat it in just so it sinks in better and I just love this if you have any suggestions for primers because this is only a sample and I will be out of it soon let me know because I really want to try a new primer I've heard that the Rimmel Stay Matte is pretty good, but I'm not really sure. Like, I've heard mixed reviews about it. I'm kind of looking for a mattifying or long-lasting primer. This one lasts, but like, I feel like it doesn't make it last all day, which I really want. Who wants their foundation to last, like, not all day? Like, you want it to last, you know what I mean? And while I usually wait for that to dry, I usually do my eyebrows just so I can get out of the way. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen me do my eyebrows before in videos. I only use two products, I don't fill them in or anything like that just because my eyebrows are pretty thick and I don't really like the filled in look. I usually use two products and one of them is just this brush. I don't know who it's by or anything like that. I think it's just one of those cheap ones you get, which I don't mind, it's not a spoolie or anything, but it does work because you can comb your eyebrows out with it and it's simple. And then I will use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, which I love. It's I used to use the Maybelline one and I think it worked for a little bit and then I was just like, what am I doing? And I just brush these out. Then I just take the gel. I remove a little bit of it because sometimes it's like too much. And then I will brush through the eyebrow. And sometimes this, I can comb them through so it doesn't look like they are sparse. Which they aren't. I don't know. And is it just me or is, is this eyebrow way harder to do than the right? I don't know what, what is with that. Like it just seems harder. Maybe it's because I'm doing it like in a different direction. I don't know. Then I'll let those sit for about a couple minutes and by then my primer is all dry so I'm good to go. Okay now my eyebrows are all good. Um, my primer has set in and I'm ready to apply my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and I'm in the shade 112 which is natural ivory which is weird because I'm usually in the beiges but I guess this foundation is just my skin color, I guess. I don't know. Well, obviously it is. I guess this is just the shade I have. Then this doesn't have like a pump, which I'm not used to, but I've gotten used to it since I've been using this foundation for about two or three months. Just to pour a little bit on my hand. I'm actually getting really good at this, and I love this foundation because it is matte. And my skin is oily, so I need a matte foundation. And then I take my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I love this brush. Some people say that it's streaky, but I disagree. I think it applies foundation very well. And I just love it. Just so I stipple, then I blend. Stipple, blend, stipple, blend. And I don't use a full coverage foundation every day. I usually just use like a CC cream or a BB cream and stuff like that. Just because I feel like I don't want to wear a full coverage foundation every day if I don't have to. And a lot of times I don't wear makeup when I don't go out of the house. Um, the only times I will wear makeup is like if I'm filming a video if I'm leaving the house. I do not wear makeup every day, no way. It's actually good to not wear makeup two days a week because it's actually not good to wear makeup two days a week just because 
you know? Just because it's good to let your skin breathe two times a week, I guess. I don't know, that's what they usually say. Now I'm playing my concealer, which is the CoverGirl Ready Stay Gorgeous. I've been using this for a couple months now and I really like it, but it's almost out and I'm gonna need a new concealer. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them because I love trying new concealers. I literally use same concealer for like two years. So I've been trying to change it up like every once in a while and I'm kind of getting old of this, but I do like how it is like tip is a spun evocator and I heard a lot of good things about the fit me concealer I know the Maybelline age rewind is good I just apply that on it and then I'll take a beauty blender to blend it out and I'll tap it which I feel works the best and I just do that and yeah and this one's pretty good for being like drugstore which I don't really use high-end makeup that much the only thing I do like using high-end is eyeshadow first I'm gonna use a loose powder and it's the Tarte Smooth Operator loose powder I take that on a Real Techniques setting brush. Then I will swirl my brush around in there and I do it under my eye, which I love. And I do love this powder. I know NYX has a good one too, but I do like this one. And I don't do this every day. Um, sometimes I just use my regular powder under my eyes. Um, but I only use translucent because I've used tinted for so long and I'm kind of like, yeah, no. Now for my face powder, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Translucent. This is the powder that does go with the foundation amazing and I really love it so I just use a precision beauty brush which is this is what it looks like precision beauty brush love this brush best powder brush you can ever get for yourself got this at Marshalls for a couple bucks and it's worth it because you get nice brushes from them which you have to look you honestly do have to look because they won't always have brushes like this but I get this one up because I was like that's a really nice powder brush and I actually looked up this brand their brushes are about eight to twelve dollars so I was like like, that is a really good deal and I got it for maybe three or four dollars like that's a pretty good deal it's like almost getting an elf brush and I just get a whole face love powders probably won't switch off of this because I just love it that much I just love Maybelline like I've always been a Maybelline girl like so next I'm gonna go into an eyeshadow primer this is the Urban Decay in original just their eyeshadow primer potion I really love this I think it's amazing probably the best one I've used I've used a lot of eyeshadow primer and just put this on the back of my hand and then apply it to the eye. Oh my god, I love this song. I think it's old, but it's by Andy Grammer. It's like keep your head up or something like that. Yeah, keep your head up. Sometimes I think I don't get the songs right when I say what they are, but I do. And I will let that sit in while I do like blush and stuff like that. For blush, you've seen this blush before if you've watched my other tutorials. It's the Herbana by Bath Fit Blush, one of my favorite blushes ever. It's just so amazing. And I'm going to use this on just this full, full tapered blush and eye brush by Bare Minerals. Love this brush. It's just very small, so it will get like into your cheeks. Oh, I hate smiling when I do blush. It's just so weird. And it's just so natural, like, and nothing will ever beat this because it's so amazing. It just gives you that look. Okay, so now I'm going to do eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow. Love my chocolate bar palette. And I'm going to do a look I've been creating lately. So I'm first going to take the color white chocolate, which is the top white color. So I'm taking my Naked 2 brush and taking the white color and just putting it all over my lid so that way my lid has a white base which makes the eyeshadows go on more smoothly and they go on like more pigment. Love it. And this palette is just so amazing. Like what? Now I'm taking the other side of this blush brush. It's just a flat shader brush. I'm gonna take a gold color and this is called Creme Brulee. So I'm just going to apply this on my lid carefully so it's not too much but going all over the ledge but this one is so nice like look how pigmented and beautiful that is now i'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with this brush that we first used now i'm gonna take my bare metals crease brush and take the color salted caramel which is that color the warm um almost orangey brown color milk chocolate which is next to white chocolate it's just that matte brown and do the crease now for the outer corner i'm going to do semi-sweet which is that darker brown color and cherry cordial which is a brownish red but it mostly looks brown i'm going to take it on this brush it's like a flat shader but it's fluffy go right into the outer corner and blend that in there and 
it's gonna look really crazy at first, but we're gonna blend it out in the end. So you don't have to worry about how crazy it looks. Now I'm taking a Coastal Scents blending brush and I'm gonna blend this out. Now to brighten up the lid. On the other side of the Naked 2 brush, I'm just gonna layer a Marcy pan. Place that in the middle. On this Bare Minerals brush, which is just a flat shader, I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to take Champagne Truffle and the Creme Brulee Gold color and mix those two together to make like a pinky... I don't even know what kind of color it is. I just saw like somebody had to draw to do this, so I want to do it. So you just mix those two together and do the inner corner. It almost gives you like a pinky, champagne-y, goldish tint. I've been, what's weird is I've been really into vlogs lately, like vlogs are just my favorite on YouTube to watch. I just love vlogs because there's a difference between watching like just a regular beauty video or a lifestyle video or even a cooking video and watching vlogs. Vlogs are just like so personal, but like they can be so much fun to watch and I just love seeing people's daily life. It's like seeing like, hey, what did this person do at this time and what was I doing at that time? It's kind of like that. I love it. Judy's life, love it because she is, I just cause I get to see like her perspective and like, and Alicia Marie, Alicia Marie's vlogs, um, Hart's vlogs, um, Lindsay and Megan's vlogs, and I've been debating on making a vlog channel and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with this, and yeah, I've been debating on making a vlog channel just because I wouldn't post vlogs yet, but I thought about making the channel just so it's there, and I could also use it for like maybe behind the scenes blooper stuff because I think that stuff is pretty interesting to watch, and I could also do more random videos on there like challenges and stuff. If you want me to make a vlog challenge, just let me know because I think that'd be really cool to do. Stylish color is amazing. I got it in a kit and I just love it. I think it's like one of those like cheap brands. Again, I don't really care. Like, I think they work really well. I have a mascara addiction, so I really just change up my mascara every day because I really don't know. So today I'm going to be using Their Real and I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. I don't do bottom mascara because it irritates my eyes for some odd reason and I don't like it. And I feel like this one is pretty much smudge proof so I'm good. And I don't like doing waterproof every day even though this one is like a waterproof mascara because it literally does not come off your lashes easily but I still love it. And it's a sample. I've never gotten a full size of this just because I always get samples of it and I don't really buy high-end mascara. I really want to try roller lash so I might try it for my birthday because by then I'll be pretty much out of mascaras. So yeah I don't know if you watch Pretty Little Liars but it's like one of my favorite shows and who is a. If you have any theories, let me know because I love talking about Pretty Little Liars. Honestly, I've heard a lot of people's theories about who A is, what the show is going to be like when it ends. Like, I don't know by this point. Like, A is this person, A is this person, A is this person, A is this person, A is this. No, A is not that because you always tell us we're going to find out who A is and we never do. So I just stop believing theories. But I do really think we're going to find out who A is this summer because that's what they're telling us. I'm really excited for the time jump, like, yes. One reason is because the girls are going to be so different. Like, we could high school them for, like, six years, and getting them as, like, closer to their age is going to be great. Chasing Life was on last night. Love that show. Um, so different from Pretty Lives, definitely. You don't see A's running around in Chasing Life, but so many secrets as usual. Love that. Now I'm just gonna take the Rocket Mascara and Waterproof just to set everything. And this adds volume, so we're good. And I just love this. Okay, so if you watch Chasing Life, you need to tell me in the comments, Team Leo or Team Dominic. Because I'm half and half, like, I love Dominic from the start, but now I'm loving Leo so much, so I'm thinking, yes, get married to Leo. Now I'm going to just open up my eyes with this nude eyeliner from Bare Minerals. Love doing this because it just opens your eyes so much, and it looks way more natural than brown. So for highlighter, I'm taking the one out of the Bare Minerals palette. Again, I use this all the time, and... It is the Bare Minerals Ready Face and Body Luminary. I had this two years ago. It was limited edition, so I probably don't have it anymore, so sorry, but 
I love this. I'm taking that on a e.l.f. angled blush brush. This is perfect to fit in here, and I think it's a perfect brush. Because right in the cheek, down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, forehead, meet highlight. Now for lips, I'm using my Posy Bomb, which I love. I didn't think I would like the color. And this is just like a pinky, corally color love. And I love these bombs because they're just so moisturizing. So this is a look. I just love doing looks like this while I film just because it's more glam than I would usually go on an everyday basis. So I love it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you love Chit Chat Get Ready Me's and like to see more, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And please leave me a comment of what products you'd like to suggest. A new primer, concealer, stuff like that. Anything you've been enjoying. Just I would love to know your favorite products because I'm looking for new things. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!